Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be converting this Epson EcoTank 8550 to a sublimation printer. This is one of the newest Epson EcoTanks out on the market. And it also is wide format. It prints 13 by 19. So I'm super excited for today's video. And we also will be using Cosmos ink. I have the four inks right here. These are the four standard colors. And then I have the two additional that are for this printer. This is the gray. And this is the photo black. Now these two you have to order separate because they don't come in the kit. But you need all six in order to be able to set up the 8550. I'm going to start by removing all of the stickers. This isn't really a how-to. It's more of a watch me set up my printer. And maybe you can get some tips when you set up yours. Or maybe if you were thinking about buying the printer and you just wanted to see it. So, because I'm not really an expert. I'm new just like a lot of you guys. So I'm learning as well. But I know that I have to remove all the tape on it. Where does that go? I guess that goes back in there. That's a lot of different taped compartments. Let's see. tape on here. Just little pieces of tape everywhere. Move, Desi. Okay, and I think I have opened up the tray and pulled the tray out. I'm glad I opened that up and saw that. Slide this back in. This is everything that came in the printer. It came with the instructions and the CD. I have a Mac, so I don't even have nowhere to put this CD. I'm just gonna download the drivers. 
What is this? Oh, this is like a little bag if you need to take it somewhere. And then this is what the power cord and all the ink came in. This is the Epson ink that came with the actual printer. And you will not use this ink. Do not put this into your printer if you are going to use it for sub sublimation. If you're doing sublimation, you need a sublimation ink for your printer. Okay, now I'm about to get ready to plug it up so we can get started. This is the power cord. It's kind of long. Goes into the back. I have it plugged up. Let's turn it on. Okay, now when you first turn it on, that's English. This is for the smart device. I'll go back to that English. No, you smart device. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening up my inks while this is doing what it needs to do. And I'm also going to download my driver. Or on the website to complete installation. When filling the ink tank, make sure not to squeeze the ink bottle. Ink may splash. Also, make sure to match the color of the ink bottle into the ink tank. There's two little things on the side. What are you doing? Where you open it up. I'm I'm making a how-to video. Right here. Sorry. <laughs> That's my oldest. Don't pay her no attention, y'all. Okay, so it's two little things. You open it up. Now I'm going to add in the black. No, not the Into the spot. It says BK. I'm so excited to use this printer, you guys, because, like I said, it is the newest Epson out, and right now I have their 2720, but the biggest of the prints, you guys know, is the 8.5 by 11, and this one will do up to 13 by 19, and then it also does roll printing, so you can print as, almost as long as you want. 
So I'm really excited about this one. I'm just gonna set it up. We're gonna give it a test run. Maybe it'll print real good and then I can go ahead and show a demo of me sublimating a doormat or something. Okay, and I believe that one is full. All right, and next goes in our photo black. What, what did I do with my photo black? Okay. Okay, I'm struggling with the top, you guys. The top is stuck. Okay, we are back. I had some technical difficulties. I have all my inks open now and we can proceed. The next color on the list is going to be the photo black. That was the one I was struggling opening. I couldn't get the top off of it. You see the Cosmos ink comes with these tops that pop right into your printer. Hold on. Move Desi. It pops right into your printer. Okay, so next is the photo black. Okay, next is the photo black. And it says PB right there to know which one to put in. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, it's going in. It's just going in a little slow. So let me open up. The holes in the other ones a little bit more, so we don't have that problem. Again, let me just check. And if you listen real close, I have my TV playing and my daughter has her iPad, so I can't too much hear it, and I might not be picking up on camera, but you can hear the ink going into the tank. Stop. Okay, it's almost halfway there. And the next color we have on the list will be our cyan. I'm gonna go ahead and get some printer paper out. So that way I can do an alignment print. While he's doing that. <laughs> All right. And now our next color will be the cyan. Let's see if this one moves faster. No, not really. It is moving faster than the black though, but it does take a little time to go in there. I've got my drivers on my computer ready to go. It's just asking me, am I finished filling up the tank yet? I'm so excited. Like, I really wanted to sell my 2720, but I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because I have toddlers. So for my 2720, that'd be perfect to make their shirts with and their blankets and just the smaller projects that I have. So I'll use this one right here for my doormats, for my larger shirts and for any big product um, products that I want to make. Because with the 2720, in order to make something large, you have to cut the photo up and print it out on several sheets of paper. I'm not trying to go through all that. I'm just trying to hit print. 
and press. So I'm so excited about that. And these were, when I first got this printer, it was $6.99 and I paid about $7.50 tax, with tax for it. And I just recently looked on Amazon. Amazon now has the printer for $900. So the price is going up because they're in high demand. And as you guys know, these wide format Epsons are hard to find. All right, here is the yellow. And once you put the ink in, you use up pretty much all of it. There's still like a tiny little bit left in the bottom. Not too much though. We got our yellow going in and next we're gonna have our magenta. And each step is telling me which color to put in as well as it's labeled on the bottom of the printer and on the inside when you flip it up. And I love, I love, love, love the Cosmos ink bottles because they fit right into the printer. You don't have to use any syringes. It, it doesn't make a mess. It's simple, user friendly. I love it. I'm so excited to use this printer. I bought this printer when Angelo from Cosmos Inc. did a video on his Facebook page, which is Sublimation Cove, telling us about the printer. He was so excited talking about the newest Epson printer out, and we could tell that it was gonna be a really good printer, so I went and bought it in June before he even released the ink for it because I didn't want it to be like the 15,000. I wanted the 15,000, but it was sold out everywhere, back ordered for months, people charging double the price for them. So when he said he would be getting the ink for these, I instantly went and bought it and then it's been sitting in my closet. I got the ink last night. Kids wouldn't go to bed early. So here we are today setting it up, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And if you're looking for a a wide format i think this is a good option because with the six colors you're gonna have a better your colors are going to be more precise your grays are going to be gray it's just it's going to be popping y'all it's going to be popping so if you was looking at these and you was on the fence about purchasing one i would purchase one because in the next two or three months they're going to be back ordered they're going to be hard to find they're going to be double the price so if you can find one now, I would get it. Office Depot has them, but you have to live close to the Office Depot because they're only allowing in-store pickup. So you would have to find an Office Depot near you that had one in-store so that way you could go and pick it up. Because that's what I did. Because when I bought this printer, it wasn't even out for a month yet. Like It's hard to find videos on YouTube about them and everything because it's such a new printer. So I was lucky enough to call my office depot up the street and they had them in stock and I bought one in store pickup. I went up there and got it as soon as Angelo finished his video. Okay, we're almost done though. The yellow's filling up a little slow so I guess I had a smaller hole in there that I thought, I'm sorry you guys. I'm so excited. This is like a really good level up for my business. Like I said, I had the 2720 and I had contemplated selling it, but I'm going to go ahead and keep both. I just need another desk to have everything fit because right now I have this on the desk with my Mac and with my Maker 3, so things are a little tight up here. I have the IKEA Alex desk. But I will drop the link for this printer so you guys can check it out. And I will also drop the link for the paper that I'm going to use when I heat press my sublimation mat. And I will also drop the link for the Cosmos ink. So I'll drop everything you need that I use in this video to get started with sublimation. 
And then, like I said, you don't have to buy this one because this one is a little bit more expensive. So you can go for the cheaper version. Like the cheaper version of the one I have is the 2720. It only prints 8.5 by 11. And then I think you can do 8.5 by 14 at the most, I believe. So you're not going to be able to print as as big. But you can find those printers for 200 to 250 and then the ink kit for them is only forty dollars so you could get started sublimation sublimating for 250 and if you know about sublimating you'll know that you can make that back asap so even investing in the print the bigger printer if you have it is a good option Okay, now we are filling the magenta, and then after that, we have the gray. The gray is the newest ink, the one that everybody had been waiting for, because all the other colors we already had, but this printer came out, and it had a gray ink, as well as, well as a photo black ink, which we don't see in the other four tank Epsons. So we had to wait on the gray for Cosmos ink. Other people have the ink, but preferably myself I've been I've only used the Cosmos ink because when I first started doing my research about the sublimation and stuff a lot of I was asking people what's the best ink to get and everybody was like get Cosmos get Cosmos and Cosmos has yet to disappoint so we're rolling with Cosmos okay Okay, there we go. It's finally filling up. Okay. And next on our list is going to be our famous gray. gray fill up. I'm gonna go get my daughter off the bus and then I'll be back. Okay, the gray is filled. Alright, I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'll be back after I get my sassy little pre-k baby off the bus. Now we can proceed. I finished filling the tanks, so now we're going to move on to the next step. It says... Press OK for five seconds. Make sure that all the color inks are filled up to the upper line on the ink tank. Select the start button to start ink charging. Do not load paper until initialization is complete. Alright, so this takes about seven minutes. We're gonna wait for this to complete Daddy, and we will be back. Daddy, I'll be I noticed that the ink levels did drop, so I may fill them back up so that way 
that completely to the top and I don't waste any ink when my printer is done. Okay, it's saying in this initialization is complete. Some ink is absorbed into the maintenance box. You may see some black parts on it, but it is normal. Proceed to print adjustment. So we're gonna adjust. We're gonna do the print head nozzle check. Take the tape off of here and then I will put in some regular copy tape. paper out and cassette to so we are going to try to figure out how to put the paper in there <laughs> okay paper, a little cassette at the very bottom that you slap the paper in. ready to print the little thing pops out I haven't did any adjustments or anything on here so we're gonna see how this prints hopefully it prints good piece right here pops up I love the little screen okay 
Now, I am going to print a test page and then I'm going to try to print out a 13 by 19 picture so I can make a doormat. Okay, let's see. All right. My test page came out good. Alrighty. Gotta go back to home. Now, let's see. Okay, so it's preparing for firmware to update. Do not turn the power off when the update is complete. The power will turn off and on automatically. Is registering the project, the product. Converting my new sublimation printer. Just finish up the registration. E ink. Nope. And we are finished over here on this end. Now I'm going to open up my pictures and I'm going to print an image I had saved already. So that way. And I'm going to be using the A sub 13 by 19. So I'm going to open this up real quick and get ready to slide this in. This paper is really big. I'm excited to use it. And we're gonna slide it in through the back rear tray. Let me show you. The back tray, it lifts up like that. Okay. And then it pops out like that. And then there's a little thing in there. You put your paper in. You close the little clamp. Uh oh, that's too much. Okay. All right, now it's ready. Let's print it out. This is the image I'm printing. So 
So it's a simple black and white image. It's got a little piece of red in it. Mmm. I know I didn't do that, y'all. I know I didn't do that. I know I didn't print this out and not mirror it, so it's trash. Uh, okay. Wow. Let's fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. We're going to do photo of presentation mats. Landscape. Okay. Now, we're going to try this again, y'all. Okay. And while that is printing, I am going to start warming up my heat press. Okay. Paper size. Super B. Presentation mats. Favorite paper sets. Okay. All right, now let's print it. I'm sorry y'all, like I said, I'm just learning too. So Super V is gonna be the option for this paper because I'm using the 13 by 19. I'm gonna flip it to landscape. I got my 85.50 selected. And we're gonna print. And I'm going to turn on my heat press. And I'm printing. Now I'm going to get ready to tape it onto my mat and then I'll switch the camera around so you guys can get ready to see. That's how I print it out. So this is, I went ahead and reversed the picture. We're going to be putting that onto a doormat today. I love the little light that is up under there. Okay, be right back as soon as I get my design tape to my mat and my press is heating up. Okay, the heat press is ready, so we are going to get ready to press it. I already have my image taped down. I'm gonna press the first half and then press the second one. Oh. Loosen up my heat press. Cause I forgot the mat so thick. But I'm holding pressure down while I do it. Okay. I got this 15 by 15 off of Amazon. 
I will drop it in the description bar. I got the paper off of Uline and the doormat from Home Depot. I'm gonna let it go a few more seconds. I'm gonna let it go a few more seconds before I sit it over. I think I'm gonna go ahead and scoot it back over and do a few more seconds on the other side since I didn't get it good with the pressure before I moved it. That's the only thing about having a smaller heat press. I started out originally with a Cricut 9x9 nine nine, and that's good for like my kids shirts and stuff but for something bigger like this which needs a lot of pressure it's, it doesn't work too well. I set my timer for 30 seconds, but I prefer it to go about 40, 45. So that's why I'm letting it go just a tiny bit longer. Okay. I'm gonna scoot it over and do this side. Couple more seconds, but I think it's about ready. I hope I didn't get any ghosting. Desi Bear. Oh wow, I didn't press it enough. Not quite enough. But it looks good, it looks good. Mommy. And that is it. Mommy. Pressing. Doing sublimation with my Epson. 8550. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, I will be coming back to you guys with more tutorials. Thank you.